Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotech Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel admin panel up in beginner tutorial and this is our partner 40. Inside this video session guys, we will learn and see that how can we clean our data as a fake data we have inserted in our previous video sessions. And also guys, if you are a beginner to the channel then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about Laravel admin panel development tutorial. So far guys, we have covered several functionalities about this admin panel. So if we back to our admin panel and let me log in with the credentials that we have set in our previous video session and uh, something online, one, two, three. This was actually password we have set for this admin user. So as we can see that we are redirected on the dashboard now. So in our previous video session guys, if you have remembered then we have made the functionality of class assignment to students. So if you back to list students, inside this listing, as we can see that here is no information about class and section. But remember, we have inserted those data in our table, something called TBL students. So if we back to TBL students, go to structure. So inside this structure, we have two more columns called class ID and section ID. So we want to fetch all the information about this class ID and section ID to the respective tables like TBL classes and TBL class sections. So how can we achieve that? So if I copy this route, go to our editor, inside the main configuration file something called web.php. So if I find about list students so this is the controller basically it is using called a student controller and it has a method something called list students so if i copy this method name open up called student controller inside this controller if i find out what the method and here it is so inside this method simply it is using a view file and inside this view file we have used a method called list all students and inside this list all students we have to make a left join for all those tables called TBL class and TBL class section. So now we are going to do that. So firstly we are going to attach with the TBL class. So this was the table called something called TBL classes. So let's say that this is called TBL classes as class. So basically that table has an ID something called class.id because if we open a new tab and this table has ID something called class ID this is the ID so while matching this ID with our class ID inside TVL students we want to get the name so copy that and let's say that student dot class ID we have done now so if I again copy and paste we are going to now insert for our TVL class sections so if I open that, copy this table name back to editor, this is TBL class section as a section. It's not here, it's something here, section. And inside this section table, we again have an ID column. Back to browser, this is ID column. So this is something section.id and student dot something the column name we have called section ID so if I copy that and replace with this class ID now after joining these two tables we want to retrieve the information about called class something let's say that class dot class name and something let's say that section dot section name we have to check the column names so if we go to the TV classes table and it has a name column so it's not actually class name it should be name as let's say class name and if you go to a sections table it has a column called section so back here and let's say that it has a column called section as and let's say that section name now we have to back to our view file where actually we will make two different columns for our class and section so basically we have to go to admin.views.list students views file so back to our resources folder and here we have a file called list students.play.php inside this file we have to make a column something let's say that name email and if I make something called class and inside this let's say that class and section in a single column scroll down and remember this is the JavaScript code 
and I think that this code is basically for delete operations so we have to go on scripts.play.php and I think that we have coded all the data tables code right here so scroll down and this is all about list students so after email address uh, I think that if we go up after email address we have to put a column something called class and let's say that section so if I copy again the column name putting it here back to our controller and scroll down let's make a edit column copy that and this is all about class section what we have made as a column name here so if I copy that place it here and now we have to return ok go down just I want to delete all these things and we have to return something students query because this variable is giving all the result sets and it contains about the class name parameter because we have passed that inside this key something called class name okay and finally we have to concatenate with this section name so if I copy this variable go down and let's say that with force loss operator and this is something let's say students query and this is all about section name so back to browser go to our project setup and if I inspect that reload this page and as we can see that we have no data right here but we if we go at the last record we have the data called 8e it means that we have inserted this data inside this class and section and remember all these columns blanks for these records so that's why we are getting the blank values but for the last record we have inserted about the class and the section all we have done now so if I close this inspect go to pagination number 10 and inside that as we can see that this is the image actually we have inserted but we we haven't fixed about the size of this image so this was also an issue so go to our same route so go here and inside our listing page this is the image I think that we have returned in our previous video but actually we haven't fixed about the size so let's make a size something let's say style inline CSS we are going to use and something let's say height equal to 100 pixel and width should be 100 pixel so if I save this style reload this page and here is the image and if you go to 11 page number 10 and this is the image and all the images are blank because these actually record basically contains no image and also I think that for the faculty section we also have uploaded the image so in that condition we need to fix that so go to 6 number and this is the image so back here and inside this listing students or sorry listing faculties so inside faculties go to our list all faculties method and inside this method we also have a profile photo section and inside that we have to add a style so let's say style height equal to 100 pixel and width should be 100 pixel so if I save this file if we back to browser and reload this page called list faculties so if we go to the pagination and this was the image that we have fixed by the help of inline CSS so finally guys all the tabs are now working but remember currently we are using the fake data so we also want to delete all these fake data and in our next video we will insert the some values and we will use about the application with full testing so go ahead to edit database and let's say that tbl admins still this record is helpful because this record basically used to log in our admin inside our tbl classes we want to delete all the tables data so back to operation section inside this operation we are going to empty the table it means that we are going to truncate the table so click on ok and if you go to browse all the classes has deleted now if you go to the class section again back to operations empty the table truncate and again if I scroll for the faculties same go to operations tab 
and empty the table remember we have to click on the empty not the delete the table because while clicking on the delete it will delete the table structure go to operation click on the first option ok and finally I think that we have deleted up to faculty types gender table is ok so we are not going to delete that go to DBL students back to operations and again I am going to truncate the table and TBL students has deleted successfully and finally the last table has no data I think so basically guys we have truncated all the data and remember there is no records as we can see that rows inside this rows all the tables has 000, 000 data so back to administrator panel click on list faculties no data available here again go to add class we can add the data from here and we can list all the data from here so finally guys inside this video we have fixed our cosmetic changes and also we have deleted our fake data from our database table so if you have any doubt inside this video session guys then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day